Welcome to Factorio, my name is Nilaus. This is episode 70 of our Let's Play campaign. As you can see, we are still having lots and lots of blinking, blinky thingies. I have been looking at it and that's what we are going to be looking at today as well. We are going to figure out what the issue is. I've already found a few issues and they were too embarrassing to me to show on camera. There was a train here that got stuck because it wanted to do in a loop here. And that reminds us that we still need to make a loop here that is as beautiful as this awful loop. We are going to do it and I don't really know. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that one for sure. So because that will prevent them from going all the way in here and doing loops and that's or even going out here to do loops. Now we see that this one does not have any iron coming in. That's a bad. This one doesn't have any iron either. This one is kind of okay. So we are really lacking on iron. I also found a number of issues with this uh, This one. It was simply missing some, uh, some, uh, some signals that prevented it from just going through. Like for example this one. Why are you not going through? Because it all merges into the same one. So this is not a very high throughput intersection and it's just waiting forever to get there. There we go, now it can go. So that one, that could be one of the issues and you can see more trains are stopping out here. That could be better. I think that it will be better by simply making more lines out here. Okay, so that's now the artillery range. Let's have a look. So two things. First, we're going to make the loop, make sure that that works. We can one in. Yeah, but we have a lot of iron that needs to come in fast and it needs to go in. You can see here, I still have, okay, we are actually less than 500 now or less than the 600 where it caps out. And once we have all this up, once all of these are saturated or more likely that they cannot be saturated because this one cannot promote one and more. One more needs, then it's going to be a different issue. Look at it, it's blue, that's not a good sign. Jump. We made it. Interestingly, there is no coverage right here. That seems like a mistake. So I'll just try making... Fix that mistake. The rest of the robot, the robots can do the rest. The house robots. And we are going to go over here. This is... Uh, troublesome to say the least let's figure out how far this one goes out how did i decide that this was as far out as it should go i don't know but that's how we do it and that's actually perfect and that one Right? Nope. These are not connected. Oh. Whew. I mean, it could happen. Well, that means it goes from this one. Yes. So these two can now go out here. Can they also in the lower one? Because I'm just going to make it the same way. Yes, they can also go out into both of these there. So that's this is how it's going to look. It looks awful, but it will be better once we have some. Now that's a bit puzzling why that does that, but it's it's fine. Here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's here. This one is here before merge. This one. Technically that one doesn't need to be there. That needs to be here. Yep. That needs to be, we put it here. This one. I'm not sure. Since it's on the outbound, it actually could be like this. Which allows it to go in here and wait there. That's probably a bad idea. This one. That one's outbound. 
Yes. You know what? Uh, here. Here. <laughs> Living life on the edge. And we'll get some of these normal ones. The reason I'm not using the normal ones as much is because I cannot use them on the inbound. So for the people who say it's easy, you just have to do, they don't understand this train network. Which, granted, neither really do I. Does that seem right? And this is like so problematic there. Okay, so let's look at, yeah, I really want one in between, but I can't. So if this one cross, it doesn't matter at the fact that if, if I'm going in here, that this one is also blocked because I wouldn't want two trains going into this loop at the same time. So it's okay. The fact that I don't like is the fact that this one, when it goes in here, also blocks. Nah, it doesn't matter. Also, no, it doesn't block this one. Okay. Well, it blocks over there. This, this is fine. I think this is fine. Good. Now, the next thing we want to do, run here. That should help. You can see more trains coming in here. These are always problematic because they need to turn. This one is a, what is that? That's an iron train. Why are you going to iron out? That's the issue with this train network is that some, the trains are dispatching too often. Where are we at? We're at 340. Whoa, okay, lubricant, that's excellent. That was what I was kind of hoping that it would run out of first. Let's have a look at the lubricant. Let's actually run there. I was expecting the lubricant to be, still be the major issue because iron should be coming in quite strong now. There's still some updating here. Let's have a look. This one's just chugging along, producing all the plastic it can. This is going out here. Obviously, it won't be able to support all of it. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're using some of mine. It's fine to update. Yeah, okay. All right, look at this. This one up here. It is now prioritizing coming it from the coal liquefaction. This is looking good. And I got stuck. So this just can't be enough. So where do we have the issue? This issue is, that one is closed off. Is it simply the lack of oil coming in or is it something else? Nope, it's the fact that we are now not <laughs> consuming enough. This And even despite the fact that this one is, oh, that one should actually be constrained. Should it? Oh yes, it absolutely should. This one should be constrained. Nothing. So the issue at this moment, as far as I can see, is the fact that these are not consuming. I'm simply not consuming enough. These are being consumed. Yeah, the, I'm not consuming enough petroleum. So the petroleum is stacking up here. And these are just constrained on the output side, which is such a weird situation to be in. Because that means now this was actually something I was afraid of earlier. Oh no, I was afraid. Because if I do this on then, then coal is fine to keep a reserve, but this one absolutely must be working. So look at this. I must be able to consume what goes in here. And as you can see now, this works much better. They are now all working, even this one, which is the worst one because it only goes one way. And which it actually shouldn't, that's a different matter. There, so that should be even easier. So now that's consuming, that means everything is working. 
this one is starting to scale up not a lot but and this one is active yes but it's really important this one is not working these have to get enough they have to work fastest they have to be all over the place yeah and that's a much nicer build so only this one activates once in a while i think i need a bit more like 5000 that 1000 seems to be too flickering so this one is i need to make sure that this one has some pressure the more pressure i have here the more pressure it exerts on the pipes and that means there's more likely that it will get all the way to the end and keep that fresh so it'll go in here yep these are just producing everything they can, but only when the production of light oil X is too high will this one start scaling up. And it does now. It scales up to 50. All right, this is looking excellent. The concern here is still the heavy oil. Because this, okay, this is just working. Here. Okay, we're still not able to, to consume enough. But what can we do? What can we do? Make more red circuits. Make more red circuits. Right. But I think this is a good signal for us to start looking at scaling up our oil supply. Because this oil supply is working fine. Except, oh, look at that. We've now completed all of the upgrades. Well, why don't we just go right ahead and cause trouble again. Is this one updated? Nope, not updated. But it is now. How big was it? Oh no, I can't see. It's more than 600. Great, so that'll uh, that'll be busy for a while. And then I also was suggested to make some recycling, which is absolutely a great idea. Recycling here. So when they're coming back, why don't they, instead of making a provider chest, make it into a... Hmm, one of those chests I don't like. Or it's probably just because I don't understand them. Yeah. So you're requesting, I don't know, 1000? Yep. And this one? Like maybe like 500? How much do we actually have? Of, I have 12,000. And this one... This is now working on a circuit condition. There you go. What if we say... Enabled when this one is less than... 2000 in the network. This one will also, the fact that you have both is always a bad idea. Hmm. So does this one mean that there's, yeah, they are bringing it in, the robots are bringing it in from the storage, which should limit the amount of production. It takes 500, that's great. This one is only working when... Don't really need 500. This one I don't need, I think. Well, let's be consistent at least. I think I'm doing something wrong here. I think this one has to be only working on the logistics network now. Here, less than 1000 so anything above 1000 will be filled up from there anything less than 1000 actually should be less because i don't want it to produce as soon as it fills up yeah i think that's correct yeah that one and then this is going to be 400 this one will be requesting up to 500 yep let's do this this one Logistics network. Two 
200 this one 250 there and now I think I actually should make it this is also a great way and easy this is actually an easier way to do it but isn't it it is it is a better way to do it because then it just throws the junk in there I actually like this way more it doesn't work for It only works for new stuff coming in, but it does work. Anything in down? No. But it does work. There. There we go. Yes, that is better. However, it does cause another little issue, which we are going to deal with. And that one. Blah. Anyone else? That one? This one? Oh, don't do that. This is actually one of those where it actually fails. Because they will try to put it in there. This one. Come on. Need more space. Yeah, this is where we obviously need more logistics spots when I do stupid, stupid things like this. And another way I can do it is do that one. Put it in here. Put this one in there. Almost. There's some crap there. That one. Almost. Twenty-two. Sweet. I don't think I have any more here. So I just put it that one in here and put all of these. And then what I need to do is I need to make sure that I am disabling my robot ports and then I disable these two. Oof. They will then go. Then I can use my construction bots for this, which is easier, faster. Now it's faster, but it works better. And then I just have to clean this one up. All right, so onwards, we are upgrading this. This is still ranging at 600. Let's see if uh, we are working faster. This one is full. Yeah, it's full. This is producing as fast as it can. This one is just trying to shovel in enough or but that's okay yes so at least we are preventing these from actually consuming any of it and we are making sure that all oh, this goes out here how are we doing that's it great now let's remember to activate it otherwise i'll just get crazy by from not realizing what the hell why it's not working so that was a pretty easy way to do that i'll take this one out i will take why is this one still 2.5? Ugh. Obviously, it doesn't completely work. Let's see where they go. they're going to go. See, now they start putting it in here, which is really not the point. And that must be because all of this is full. Yes, it is. And you're building too damn slow, aren't you? Yes, you're building too damn slow here. Well, that is what it is. I don't know what I'm going to use for all these for. Okay, now next one, we are going to tool up for a foray into the wild. We 
should probably get this combined oil deposit. The question is, should I build it out here and then convert it into something? Or should I bring it back? It is tempting to just to bring it back as, let's say, solid fuel, for example. Because then I can completely bypass this part and this one can just focus on maybe what it needs. Because this one can easily support lubricant. What about this one? This is also scaled up. This one is the next one that needs to scale up, but it can't scale up until I have more iron. So maybe it's not actually... Ah, oh, the copper is dead. Yeah, the copper is dead because I can't keep it, keep it in here. We need more trains coming in, more trains of everything. Let's look at the let's look at the network because that will reveal to us if we have negative, positive, or negative things in the network. See, this one happened again. Did it happen before or after our see? You should never use this one as roundabout. And I think the reason is that these... Oh, really? I think I'm missing something. I think I'm seriously missing that one. That is so strange why I don't have this. I don't know if that's enough to do it. It's also ironic that this one is unable to unload. Nope, it's not ironic. It is quite understandable to be uh, perfectly blunt about that. Yeah. There. Okay, so that's pretty much explains it. This one will now go in. Ah, I couldn't even get that. Where are you going now? Let's let's uh, run this train and just figure out where it's going. So you're blocked by, okay, by a passing train, great. This one is an iron train, it's iron two. We want to see where it's going. So that goes in here, realizing that, oh, I didn't have anything. Now let's go back to the depot. Then it goes back to the depot to rest. I changed, oh, look at that, changed path. That did a roundabout. I suppose that's a good thing, the fact that it's being used. And you go back to the depot, and then the question is, will it get an input? This gets gets an input immediately to go to iron out. Let's see which one it is. Not that one, obviously. And okay. Where are you going? Oh, iron out closed. So this this is the reason why I am not always as enthusiastic about this network because I have I'm generating an awful lot of redundant train schedules. So you're gonna go here. All right. Let's have a look at what is this? This is an iron two. This is an iron one. This is an iron three. The iron one is departing. That's good. Copper one. So iron one is departing. Does that mean that we are really out of iron? Let's have a look. How? What is this one? Yeah, this is only iron one. And that comes in here. So this is one iron deposit. And I am in route because it probably managed to... Nope, it... What? Is this now disabled? Yeah, it disabled. Oh, look at me jumping on this. Right, so this one, and th this is the issue. Let me just try to explain it. So in the network, there are seven. Seven Dutch requests, right? Now those are... That means it is definitely requesting seven more loads of iron than we can get. So this one, let's see. As it hits eight, it will activate one of these, that one. I'll put signal one. And that will put an input signal here. That means it dispatched train, maybe two trains, to go here. 
That one? No, that's going somewhere else. And this train that I'm running on is so far not doing anything, but it goes there and then by the time it gets there, it realizes that the tra train station is stopped. Where are you heading? You are heading towards this one. Okay. Does that make sense? Here. 12? No. It, it must have capped out exactly at 13. And if this one now goes less Less than eight. No, it didn't. It did. And that means the next train that there went by. Yep. It missed it. Because this one is closed. All right. So this is, we've now been following this train for a couple of minutes. And so far it has done nothing but generate generate traffic in the network and we are quite susceptible to traffic because of this intersection and i think this is actually what prevents us from really scaling it up so where are you going now are you going to an oh you're just going to turn around because you were desperate enough to try to get that oh you changed your mind you're going back you're saying this time this time I'm getting it. Oh, nope, nope. It was cancelled. I'll go back again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> it would suck to let it start loaded here, but it won't. Alright. Back again. Can we just go back to the depot? Now you're going to iron in because it thinks it was at an iron output. Hmm. Right. I think that we can... Uh, conclude that this one is uh, this particular train here is not being the most productive and that's actually generating a lot of congestion in the network which is holding us up from from really scaling this up anyway i think that was a very interesting finding and although not a pos particularly positive finding but it was very interesting to see that and now it goes back to the depot i'm sure that there's something i'm missing uh, and i'm not doing this right but so far, this should be... Okay, cool. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you in the next... Oh, there we go again for another spin. See you in the next episode. Until next time, take care and stay effective.